We are going to perform a valve adjustment on this side, uh, this R1100RS. You want the OT mark in the window. Get the fuck back there, where I was. I had light on it a minute ago. Alright, anyway, there's an SOT tab in that window. You want that up, make sure the rockers are loose. I think it's covered in some of my other videos. Um, so I'll give the camera to Sean. Do all four feeler gauges at the same time. This is important, or you are not doing the adjustment properly. And if they're too freaking tight to put them in, loosen them. Okay, now, three zero millimeters in the exhaust, point one five on the intakes. There and here. Now, we'll show. You should be able to see how this affects one side will actually affect the other. What you're looking for is it should hold the feeler gauge in place without dropping out and without a lot of tension on it. That's obviously too loose. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now we're going to move over here. I'll swap sides of Sean. Now we go to exhaust. Ha! See? It moves. Let's get that back. We're going to tighten that just a little bit. Okay, this one is too tight. It's still kind of draggy, a little too tight. That one's a little too loose, so we're going to tighten the bottom and loosen the top. Bottom is too tight. Better. A little draggy on the top. And that is good. A little bit draggy on the bottom. That's feeling pretty damn good. Those are good. Let's make sure they're tight. And Check them again. Don't need a whole lot of torque, so keep the gorilla paws away and just snug them down. You over torque these, it fucks up the little adjuster, and uh, you got some work ahead of you to fix it. It's not horrible, but it's also not necessary if you do it right. And that's it. That valve adjustment is done. Feel both sides, they should feel equal. Same amount of drag. Stay where they are. Everything's happy. And we're good. That's it.